All right, everyone, it's Drew here again, and today we're gonna to talk about Ethernet IP source code. So first, you know, you've arrived at the source code, let's talk about what you actually get, because when you hear royalty-free Ethernet IP source code, a lot of people aren't quite sure what this is. So when we say royalty-free, no, I'm sorry, this isn't free, right? There is a cost involved in working with us, but what it means is that you don't have to pay for every implementation. So we have a series of packages available, but you pay one time per product family. So if you make a line of drives, everything from the you know, half horsepower up to the 50 horsepower is all one product family. We help you with the integration, and then whether you sell in the market one or one million, and we hope it's one million units, you don't owe us another dime, right? So it's a one-time transaction upfront and then royalty-free ongoing. So that's what the royalty-free means. When we get to the source code, we are selling ANSI C source code. So this is source code that you are going to build into your products. Um, when we look at that, our source code is going to come with samples that are great for Windows or Linux implementations, but you're not limited to that. So we've been doing this code for long enough before Windows and Linux were you know, ways you built devices on the factory floor. So we have an extraordinarily small footprint and we have no reliance on an operating system at all. So we can be built into bare metal design. So if you have a legacy device that you're looking to add Ethernet IP to, but you know that you've got a processor that's a little long in the tooth without a lot of resources, I can almost guarantee you that we could get our Ethernet IP stack to fit in there for you. Um, certainly space requirements aren't the thing they used to be, but if you're in that situation, we may be uniquely qualified to help you out. So you probably get an idea of what our offering is now. So it's source code and services. You might say, well, why would I go with real-time automation? And I guess, you know, it's because we've been in the game since day one. Um, so you'll see this photo here, right? This is Jamin Wendorf, our, the developer of our code stack, standing there proudly back in 2001 big poopy hair and all, holding a certificate that says we are the first device ever to go through ODBA conformance testing. So we helped launch the first true Ethernet IP device that ever existed in the world going through conformance. And since that time, we have been helping customers like you bring Ethernet IP devices to market every day. So we bring a few dozen devices to market a year. And Jamin Wendorf, the guy you'd be working with, is the gentleman that helps do that. So when you come to real-time automation, you're gonna be getting source code from a company who's been there since day one, and you're gonna be working with an expert that has literally brought more devices to market than likely anyone else in the world. So you're getting someone who really knows their stuff from a team dedicated to Ethernet IP. So I think I hopefully that gives you some good reasons of why you might work with us. Um, now let's talk about what you could expect if you did work with us. So we have a series of packages available, but the services we add are always kind of the same. So at the base level, we are going to give you the source code, right? So you're going to get the source code. It is going to be reliable industry tested source code and CC that you're going to put into your device. If you get the accelerated package, we actually help you integrate that source code. So what typically happens then is you send us your device, you send us your development environment, and we will actually take responsibility for porting the code there, tying it into the TCP stack, and then showing you uh, the application interface where you tie your application into. So, that's the high level, we'll do the integration. Um, but beyond that then, when you get the code in there, we're gonna do something very important because you know, besides just plunking that code down and sort of filling in the pieces, a good device is more than that. So it's more than just the required objects and things like that. We have to talk about data modeling. And what that means is taking the data that your device is, all of these ins and outs, um, and we have to make them meaningful data to the processors and controllers that are gonna interface with those. And there are right ways to do that and there are wrong ways. And when I say right and wrong, it's not right and wrong from a conformance perspective, but right and wrong from a usability perspective. So what our experts are gonna do is we're gonna help you take your data and effectively model it to be the best possible device out there in the market. And best could mean most efficiently move data, but then also be the easiest to integrate. And along those lines, we're also gonna help you create an EDS that's easy to read um, by all the leading processors. And then particularly because I'm sure the 800 pound grill in the room, Allen Bradley processors, we're gonna give you UDTs to make it even easier to help customers integrate your device into their applications. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Your customers are getting a good Ethernet IP device and a good experience. You don't want adding Ethernet IP to ever be a support concern or a downside of the experience of using your device. Cause I'm sure your device does awesome things. This is just a voice to the world. It should be an afterthought. So. We're gonna do all that, but there are a couple more things before we get there. So we've got, we've got code in your device, we've, we've helped you do that, and then we've properly modeled your data, but there's one more step here. So every Ethernet IP device out there, you need to go through conformance, and we're gonna help you there. So you've gone to ODVA, you've gotten your vendor ID, that vendor ID is important because that's part of your identity objects, letting everyone on the network know that you're the manufacturer of this device. 
And once you've got that, you then say that any Ethernet IP device that you bring to market is gonna go through conformance. And that's where we're here to help. So what we do, we take your device when it's finished, you've wrapped up all your application code, and we take it through the testing that they do at the ODVA lab. We do that here. We also do some additional stress testing and usability testing from our customer experience group. And what that lets us do is it lets us know with good assurance that you're gonna be able to get through certification testing the first time. And when we're done with that testing, we give you the results that you will eventually take to the ODVA lab. Further, when you're at the lab, we can act as your device representative. So if there are any questions that come up or any small little adjustments that need be, we can sometimes do that during the process of being tested, helping you ensure, again, that you can get through conformance testing on the first time. So if you're looking to take a device now that doesn't have Ethernet IP, bring it to market and get it to conformance quickly, reliably with a leading expert that has been doing this literally since day one, I think you found the right partner and also the right product. And with that, I hope you'll give us a shot. Give us a call anytime. We'd be more than happy to discuss your device integration. And until next time, happy networking.